Hi, welcome to Skyland Mind, Body, and Health. I'm your host, Eileen Berdosa Hickey, and I'm here today to show you how to tape an ankle. So, if you've ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes before athletes come out on the field, or um, say you have a child, or you yourself have injured your ankle, what happens to get back out on the field? What's going on so that way we can get that player that was injured, roll their ankle, to get back on the field and continue playing? Well, we taped their ankle. So, today I have Jackie here with me. She is an alumni from Memorial High School. She played soccer, and currently she is trying to get into the Marines. So hoorah, go her. Uh, so she will be my model today, and she'll be help assisting me in how to properly tape an ankle. So before we actually get started on the how-tos of how an ankle is taped, I'm gonna go through a real life situation of what it looks like to tape an ankle from behind the scenes. Her leg is straight and her foot is dorsiflexed. So we have dorsiflexion, we have plantar flexion, which is pointing the toes. We want the foot in dorsiflexion when we start. Usually when we have athletes come in game day, they're in a rush, they have to get taped, they have to get out, see their coaches, and get on the field. So it's our job to get them out there as quick as we can, efficiently and safely, and that our technique is done correctly, even though we're being rushed to get quite a few players out on the field if they all need to have their ankles taped. And especially if they get hurt on the field and they are still good to go play if it's a minor ankle sprain, we tape them up on the sideline, on the bleacher, on the ground, or wherever we're at, and we get them taped up and back on the field to play. There we go, you're good to go, child. So, that took less than two minutes, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit over a minute. Um, so let's break it down. I did what took less than two minutes, about six different types of tape strips. So, what are those six different types of tape strips I'm talking about? Well, pretty much any basic athletic um, ankle taping job is gonna have your anchors, three stirrups, three horseshoes, a heel lock, one on either side, a figure eight, followed up by cover-up strips, which anchors everything down that you just put on her ankle. So I'm gonna use her other ankle, and we're gonna take that at a very slow pace, and I'm gonna give you detailed information on what each strip does and how it looks like. So if you wanna switch me feet here, I'm gonna take this sock off. Since she's not actually getting it taped to go on the field today, we're going to go ahead and leave this bracelet on. But usually, um, any type of jewelry, anklets, anything that is on the skin, whether it's the ankle or on the wrist or whatever part is being taped, does need to be removed. Um, and I will usually use my heel and lace pads, which are good for preventing friction and blisters from forming, um, should the tape happen to roll while, the, while she's out playing and um, doing whatever activity she, need, she needs to do. So. Heel locks, or heel and lace pads would go here, and then our pre-wrap. So if I have my heel and lace pads, I'm putting my pre-wrap down, and I'm going to anchor that, those pads down. So I'm going to start at the bottom, and then I'm going to do a heel lock around the, around the heel, heel lock, the, and then spiral back up to the base of the calf. So, my first anchor strip is going to come around the base of the calf and on the instep of the foot. So these are my boundary markers right here. This lets me know to not go above these tapes that I just put down. So, 
My first strip are the anchors. The second type of strip are stirrups. So stirrups are going to help support the malleolus, the medial malleolus, and the lateral malleolus, as well as the entire ankle joint from inversion and eversion movements. On the stirrups, we always want to go from medial to lateral. And my goal is to cover at least the bottom half of the malleolus, the whole malleolus, and then that top half of the malleolus. And it's through a technique that we use called 50-50 cover. So one strip will cover half of the other strip. That's just another anchor strip to maintain these in place. That is also optional. You don't have to use it, but I do. And then we're going to do horseshoes. Our horseshoes are going to start on the anchor. Same principle. We're going to cover that bottom half of the malleolus. The whole malleolus. And the upper half of the malleolus. And horseshoe, as the name implies, it forms a U. So we want to try to keep each anchor end on each side of the foot. We don't want them to cross and overlap. So now we have our anchors, our stirrups, and our horseshoes. Time for the heel lock. This is where it gets a little tricky. So the heel lock, you're going to start at the top of the upper anchor. This is a lateral heel lock. I'm going to cut that lateral malleolus at a diagonal. Come under the Achilles, over the top of the foot, tear it, and place the tape down. So I'm going to do one on either side. And this is my medial heel lock, so I'm going to try to cut that malleolus at a diagonal. Come under the Achilles, under the foot, and back up, and tear. And then we're going to have the figure eight. So the figure eight, I start at the top of the foot. I'm going to pull the tape back like to the wall behind me, or as my kids would say, towards my navel. Come around. That's the bottom half of the loop. And then finish with the top half of that eight. And now it's just the cover-up. So the cover-up, I start from distal to proximal. So I'm just taping all the ends down that I just placed on her ankle. And it's just a nice way to cover up everything, make it look nice and smooth. And this is also a 50-50 technique, so I'm covering half of each strip as I come up her leg here. And then I'm just going to top it off and cover any other loose ends. And that's how we tape an ankle. So both her ankles are taped. If she had sprained ankles, then this would be a great way to help prevent her from re-rolling or kind of help stabilize it and give it some added support while she's out playing. Um, if she wanted to, she could put on her sock and shoe and we can do box jumps, jumping jacks, um, whatever it is that she's going on, it's going to help provide that support that her ankle needs. Alright Jake, so what I'm going to have you do if we were to be performing some type of ankle rehab now that you're taped, you're secure, you're supported, first of all, I'm just going to have you jump forward and back. Right back. We would do about 30 of these, but we're going to abbreviate this so about 30, forward and back, 30, side to side. Good, stop. Alright. So we're going to go right to some jumping jacks. Go ahead, go for it. Does that feel pretty good? Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks. You're good to go. <laughs> now that you've already performed all your activities, how the heck do you take this tape job off? Well, you have an old-fashioned way you can peel it off strip by strip if you're good enough to do that and have the patience. Or we have scissors and sharks. So, I prefer my scissors. I keep them in my kit at all times. That foot's still in dorsiflexion. You have a natural groove that goes right in between, right from the calcaneus to the malleolus. This natural groove right in here is where I want to put my scissors. And you have a groove on either side of the foot, so you just choose your preference. I'm going to go on the inside, under that malleolus, and come up on the back side. 
There we go. And if I use the sharks, if you want to scoot this one out of the way real quick, thank you. Same thing, I'm going to go around that inside, underneath that bone, right in between the heel bone and the malleolus. And I'm pulling the tape apart as I apply tension. And there we go. Thank you for watching Skyline Mind, Body, and Health. Like, subscribe. I'll catch you later.